Hi, my name is Chris Tripolino, and I'm a singer-songwriter in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I also have the pleasure of getting to help create and direct the creative expression of a community called Fabric. And today I want to talk to you about the Reimagined Songs Project. The Reimagined Songs Project is something that we started a couple years ago, and it's an evolving collaborative between lots of songwriters and community leaders as we create a whole new soundtrack for uh, what it looks like to be a spiritual community. We are writing new songs for people to sing together. And the truth is, when I launched this project, I was really excited to get, I was shooting for 200 songs and we didn't really get that many. But I got so many comments from people. I was like, yes, I love this idea and I just didn't have the time to be writing songs in that, that season, that moment. So here we are, we find ourselves in the midst of quarantine. And for a lot of us, time is sort of existing in a different way. And I would encourage you, if you're a, a songwriter, to consider doing some songwriting with some simple um, framework that helps it fit into this Reimagined Songs project. And the framework is really simple. Basically, these songs are going to engage, they're going to relate, they'll be honest, and they won't distract. Those are the only sort of rules, if you will. I guess those are the things that I've noticed that songs for the church have done and, and why we've disengaged from a lot of it. So we're putting out daily song prompts and um, maybe you are finding yourself looking for some new kind of creative spark. This is a great moment for you to engage those prompts. You don't have to use them. It's not like you have to fit that word in or you have to uh, use that as the basis for a song, but it's just to, to spark your, your writing. For many of us, we come into the season and we realize, wow, I've actually got a lot of other projects that have been on the back burner for a long time and I really want to focus on those. And all I would say is, that's great and I, I hope you do. And I would challenge you to look at some of those, those creative projects that you have, those songs that you're writing or rewriting or tweaking or whatever you're doing to them and consider some of the framework that we're creating for this project. Uh, you know, songs that are engaging, that people wanna sing along with that they can really relate to, see themselves in, that are honest about our experiences and our struggles and uh, our doubts and curiosities, and songs that don't pull us into these weird sort of questions of, of theology or of, um, of history that, that take so much sort of unpacking and uh, finesse that you need your MDiv just to figure it out. Any song, that you're writing would benefit from that kind of lens. So take a look at some of those things. Join us on our Facebook group. You can just find it by searching the Reimagined Songs Project or by going to reimaginedsongs.com. And we have the prompts posted daily on both spots. And you can engage and post songs on the website or on Facebook and uh, just, just be a part of that. And if you're not a songwriter, but you know songwriters or know communities that, that could use this kind of engagement, I would encourage you to, you know, to do some of that work, to be uh, pulling people into this project and helping them notice it. Thanks so much for your consideration and for your partnership as we create something new a new soundtrack, a new library of songs for our communities to sing together.